Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming today. Um, my name is Irene Lopez. I'm a graphic designer. Um, here in Lenio, this is my third year working as a UX uh, UI designer. Um, today, we are going to talking about uh, AI. Uh, no code websites made simple. Uh, this talk is oriented to people who want to learn some things about AI, but don't know where to start and find it too difficult. Nowadays, there are a lot of um, there is a lot of information available, and sometimes we don't know uh, where to start. Uh, we will show tools easy to use to create a web a web page um, without the need to know too much about web development. Um, if you are a graphic designer and you want to make a POC or try new things, uh, these tools will help you. Um, the tools are, we are going to talk about today is ChatGPT. Uh, probably you already know it, or Gemini, that is um, the, um, the new tool of Google. Um, to create or improve prompts and search for information, uh, WebWave is a um, website builder, um, no code that you use with a prompt and it create the website, Recraft for logos, Dali for images. Uh, We're going to see also another option of um, that is not Dali, uh, that is free um, because Dali has a freemium version and a pay version. So we're going to see two tools for that. Uh, Photoshop, that is a tool that you probably already know, but has included some AI tools uh, to it, and 11 Labs for audio or voices. Um, I try to use tools that are free, completely free, or that have a freemium version. Uh, so all of us can try it and play uh, a little bit with it. Um, Let's start with an idea. Uh, what do we want to create? Uh, as I mentioned, today we are going to create a website. Uh, so for today, I brought um, an idea about creating a page. Uh, imagine that I have a coffee shop uh, called Galga, as my, as my dog. Um, and the, the coffee shop will be a relaxing place to go to work, as we many of us do. Uh, chat with a friend, offers music, uh, vinyl records, books you can borrow, especially coffee is pet friendly and offers vegan options. The color brand uh, should be green. That is something that I create based on what I like or what I consume. So I thought it was a good idea to, to, to try something that I actually like uh, to see the result. Although I, I won't use it, it's cool to be involved with the project you are, you are working on. So uh, what I did is to give that information to ChatGPT and try to improve the, the, the prompt. Uh, is, if you ask ChatGPT to improve your prompts to use it in a, in a specific uh, place, uh, it could be DALI um, or uh, WebWave or Dorica, that is another tool. You can ask uh, the um, you can ask ChatGPT to improve it. So, what did ChatGPT? Uh, it includes a lot of um, information to make the prompt uh, more exactly. The the most the more information you give to the prompt, the better um, result you will get. If, you, if we are too simple in our prompt, probably we won't get what we are looking for. So the idea is to give uh, ChatGPT or the tool we are using the, um, all the information we can. So as you can say, from this idea, it, it, it is converted to this uh, idea that is the same, but with a lot of more details. As you can say, um, it includes the atmosphere that I want to, to have in my, in my coffee shop. Um, it includes, um, <clears throat> I don't know, shades of blue and dark green that probably will work 
uh, okay in the palette. And I included that it's, it's gonna be used on a no code wealth oh. builder. Um, so with this prompt, we will create the website and then customize it. Uh, here I included a disclaimer. Um, as I say uh, before, with this web, web uh, with this website um, creator, you will be able to create pages to a POC uh, proof of concept or um, something to show in your portfolio. But it has some certain limitations. So probably if you want to create an e-commerce or something like that, you will need a developer or something that knows better uh, than AI what you need. Um, so I will show you how WebWave works. Basically, here you can write a prompt. Um, if you want, you can type something in the Zoom chat and we can try it. I already brought something done because it takes some minutes to, to do it, but I want, it, uh, I want you to show how um, it works. Um, let's see what ideas we have. Um, probably, I don't know, something for a company, uh, a shop, I don't know. If you want, just write something and we can try it. If, if you don't, I can type something. Or just use the mic, uh, it's okay. For surfing school, okay. So <clears throat> let's write it. Website for surfing school. Let's give it some more details. It should be um, like, I don't know. Uh, it should be relaxing, use colors as uh, blue, yellow, use a font not too formal. Um, what else? I don't know. What, what can you imagine for this? Um, the colors, the font, uh, some images of people surfing, some testimonials. Uh, next, and it will ask you, what, what do we want? Is for business, creative, minimalist? Um, I would say creative, just because it's a proof we are doing right now. And it will take some minutes. So for today, I brought uh, my my idea, I ask uh, web uh, web wave. It has a, a name difficult to to pronounce. Um, that I want a coffee shop. The the prompt that that I already show you. Uh, this one. So the result was uh, this this sorry this page. Um, it offers like a lot of. Um, options to customize it. I change, um, as you can see, you have web, uh, some pages here, you can click here and add other pages. I don't know, um, it could be frequently asked questions, for instance, um, you can change. Um, this works pretty similar to any design tool. Um, you can change uh, if this is a, a text or a title, which is the hierarchy of the title, uh, how we wanna, if we want to center the text. <clears throat> and as you can see, I included some images that right now I'm gonna show you how to, how to use. Um, this is cool because it offers um, responsive, uh, responsiveness of the tool. Uh, so you can see how it is in uh, the viewing tablet, mobile, portrait. Um, so as you can see, you have many tools here uh, that helps you to, to design your project. Uh, it, the, what 
the application does is to give you a base and then you can customize it as you want. Uh, for the images, let me show you. Uh, we need, I use DALI in this case, but you can use uh, other tools. Uh, in some minutes, I'm gonna show you Ideogram. That is another tool to create uh, pictures. Um, this is DALI. Um, you can uh, click here in Try DALI and you can go to the, um, to the main section. As I mentioned, there is a freemium version that is for people that has uh, tried beta. Uh, so nowadays you need to pay. Um, but I found that DALI was what I was looking for. So I, I will show you some, some mistakes that I done uh, so you can avoid them. Um, first of all, um, I asked ChatGPT to write me a prompt. Um, I write it in, uh, in Spanish and the, the prompt that it gave me, I tried on Dali and gave me something like this. Of course, this is what I wasn't looking for. So I tried again <laughs> and it wasn't working. Uh, I was writing in Spanish that I wanted a photography, um, with jazz atmosphere and stuff, but it wasn't giving me, it was looking more like an illustration that, uh, um, that I've done a photo that, that was what I was looking for. So after a lot of, uh, trying a lot, I get the results that I wanted. Typing the same prompt a little bit simpler and in English. And I start looking, uh, the results that I wanted. Um, this is another result that I tried because I needed much uh, more images for my page. So I try uh, the same prompt twice and give me a really similar uh, result. And this is the aspect ratio that the images have in the Lee. Uh, and I wanted to use it in the hero image, so I needed to expand it. So if we need it, we can expand them in Photoshop. I will show you how. Uh, we open Photoshop, the same tool that designers use uh, a lot. We give the photo uh, the size we want. Imagine we want uh, this size. And we click in generate. We don't need to write a prompt because Photoshop understands what we want to do, that we want to expand the images. And we click in generate, it takes some minutes and gives really good results. So I really recommend it. Um, probably then we need to remove this mark, uh, but I, I wanted to show you the results. See, works really fine. And you have some variants uh, that you can choose. Uh, I think this works really good. I have another example to show you. Uh, this is how it looks, uh, how it looks the original picture. I expand it and um, these are the results. I think they are pretty good. So with these pictures, we can go to our web. Oh, sorry, this is the result of the surf school. And as you can see, I use it here. Um, and I use them in a lot of different places. I have a gallery section where I use them. Um, this is just a POC. I was trying to learn how to use this tool. And this is a really good exercise to do, to try different tools and see a result. Um, so this is what I was showing you, um, how <clears throat> the pictures are expanded. And let's see which is the result of the school. Um, I asked the tool for uh, yellow colors. It uses the, um, 
the pictures that I ask. It, as you can see, it writes some text as well that you can edit later. Um, so you can try this tool as many times as you want. And if you don't get the result you want, you can try it again. Uh, we can customize the color and the pictures. I will show you uh, right now how to include a logo here. Um, what I use for, um, for the logos is, um, give me a second, this is Recraft. Um, I was uh, writing, uh, create a logo for my coffee shop that is simple, not too full of details. Um, I, I choose a, the style that I wanted. If I want a vector art, an icon, a logo, in this case, and let's see <clears throat> the result. This can work or not. You can fix your prompt as many, one, as many times as you want uh, until you get uh, the result you want. Um, this is pretty common uh, to rewrite the prompt and try again and try again until you get the result you want. Um, let's wait some minutes. <clears throat> I don't know why it's taking longer. Um, I can show you the one that I use here. Uh, if you want, uh, is change. You can change the image. It's pretty easy. You can you can upload here uh, the images you want and you can change um, your logo. Imagine we want this logo. So it's that easy. Um, let's put the old logo here. We can try another one, select. Um, let's see what happened here. Well, it's still loading, so let's move to the next slide and then we can see uh, the result. Um, to create some audios, you can use 11 Labs. Uh, 11 Labs offers uh, a freemium version. You can try it and you can download the, the audios. This works um, text to speech or speech to speech. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Um, this is how. Um, See, I, I tried like a lot of uh, voices. You can select here, which is the, the um, let, me sh let me share only that uh, screen sharing. Um, I will share a tab so we, you can hear. Um, so can you see my screen? Um, thank you. So uh, you can you you have a lot of voices here. Uh, you can try them. But these are not normal times in our politics. And there you need to find the tone or the uh, that you want to use. Um, if it's British, American, um, if you want to be strong or more relaxing, you have like a lot of uh, options. I tried a lot of them. And uh, the one that I found better was this one. I don't know why. Welcome to Galga, a coffee shop. It's like super relaxing, <laughs> maybe too much. Um, but I use that for my, for my project. Uh, something cool about um, 11 Labs, let me share again my screen, is that you, uh, 11 Labs has um, a community. And here you can see like a lot of options that people have created and you can use them. Um, there are like a, here uh, uh, you have the, um, the option for Spanish which is cool uh, if you want to use it in a, um, in a POC. Uh, many of our uh, speak Spanish, so maybe that's cool, or Japanese. Um, 
and it's pretty easy to use. Here, you just need to select the voice you want to use. Let's select that one. And <clears throat> you just click on generating. It will take some, some seconds again. And we'll, you will get the result. It's that simple and, and it's that simple. And I think that works really, really well. Now, a tip uh, that I have for you is that if you want to create your, if you want to use your own, own voice, you can use Adobe Podcast. Um, this is an AI tool as well uh, that you can uh, record your voice, your own voice, and what uh, Adobe, Post Adobe Podcast will do is to enhance your the result, like um, clean the the background noises, and it it feels like you are in a real studio. Uh, this is on the beta, but works really really good. I have tried it and works pretty fine. So you can record your voice for whatever you want if you have to have. Uh, a podcast. Uh, I know some some uh, some people in Lenio has their own podcast, so you can use this tool to improve and record your voice in your own studio, in your own house, in your own office, and this works uh, really good. Um, <clears throat> for today, um, this is all the I I, I will show you. Uh, all the things that I use. So, so like in a summary, I use the images for from Dali, expanding them in Photoshop. And here you can see the audio that it's um, uh, automatically reproduced in, in the um, website. I wrote some uh, text using ChatGPT or Gemini. Um, what I, uh, actually, the reason why I use Gemini is because it has more um, up-to-date information. And I, I, I Google, like I use it to ask him, ask it, uh, how to use, uh, how to include the audio in web, web because it was uh, not that easy to find and actually helps me. Um, so that's the reason why I use Gemini. Uh, ChatGPT has some limitations uh, because it's not up to date uh, until this, this, um, this time. So there are some information that you cannot find there. Uh, I use the images uh, in the gallery as well. Here we have a contact, um, a contact page that is also I didn't need it to create it, it was there. Uh, so that's cool. You have different uh, resolutions and in the freemium version, you can actually publish it. So this is a, a website that is published with all the, um, all the things that I included in the editor. This is like the final result. Um, so that's like a summary for, about the tools that I mentioned. But uh, I brought some other tools that I found um, useful um, that I will show you. Futurepedia, this is, uh, today with JC, we were talking about that nowadays there are like a lot of tools to use and we don't know which are the last ones, which are good. Here in Futurepedia, you can find, you can, uh, like um, search for different um, tools and um, if you want text to speech or audios or images or videos uh, something to use for uh, read or examine uh, pdfs um, this is like pretty good um, i find a lot of uh, tools that help me here the other one that I brought today is uh, Framer. Framer, WebWave, and Dorica works in a similar uh, way. Framer is 
a little bit more difficult to use, or at least you need to know a little bit more about uh, how this, um, how design tools works because it works with components as Figma does. Uh, you need to know a little bit more about coding because you can um, customize it by coding uh, in Framer. So I think it's a little bit more difficult to use, but not that difficult. And here you can see I create a header um, or a button. And if I change something here, it will be uh, it will be impacting on 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 the on the results here. You can find uh, that there are breakpoints as well where you can design for different resolutions. Um, I recommend you to take a look at it because it works really good. Um, Dorica or Doric AI um, works uh, the same as WebWave uh, does. The cool thing here is that while you are writing the prompt, they uh, help you. They improve your prompt uh, so you can use it here. Um, Let's use the same example. I want a website for a um, Surface Pool. <clears throat> With uh, lean and yellow palette. Um, so, um, and you need to write the name and it will generate a, a website um, much more faster than other um, tools does. And the results were really good. Um, let's wait until <clears throat> a second, until it generates the page. <clears throat> As you can see, it starts like showing you while it's being created. Um, as I mentioned, this is just for for introducing these new tools or I don't know, I recommend you if you want to start using AI and don't know how to make these experiments and see how you can improve um, the pages that you are creating um see, this is really fast how it's working. Um, and you can customize it as much as you want. And the last tool that I have, I don't I don't find it really helpful, but I find it like um, interesting to use. Here is a result. Super fast and you can change and customize it. You can change the typography, the colors, the logo, um, here with the replace image, it's pretty easy to use. And I, as I was mentioned, I brought Crea. This is just for fun. This is just for us to explore new things that I found it. If you, you can go changing and including things and you will see how the image on the right change um, again, this is not useful. I just found it interesting how it changed. Uh, let's move this here. Uh, I don't know. I find it pretty cool and I wanted to share just for fun. So that's everything that I have for today. I don't know if you have any questions. And um, thanks for listening. Thanks for the talk. Uh... Irene, uh, it was uh, quite interesting, all the tools that you showed. Um, I think that we have uh, a raised hand by Bruna. Hi. Hello. Uh, just a cur curiosity, um, if these generative uh, website AI tools, they just for uh, static websites, or do you know if they do dynamic things like having comments from users or anything that users could like add up to the page? You can you can adapt it once that you have pu published it. You can 
um, see, um, there are like um, settings uh, where you can <clears throat> include CEO, um, like actually use the page. It has some limitations. As I mentioned, if you want like an e-commerce, probably you won't use this tool. But if you want something um, simple, like a landing page, um, yes. it actually works. That, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we have any other questions? Or any tools that you have been using that you want to share? Um, Lately, I have been using a lot of the Photoshop uh, Adobe tools. They are really, the new ones are really nice. For, they, yes, they, they even let you, yes, um, I've been giving a, my mom a hand with her little business and they even let you publish the page. If I could recommend something it would be that, check the, the Adobe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, the, the I... podcast. Sorry. <laughs> the Adobe no, podcast no, go ahead. Spectacular. It's amazing. The Adobe podcast. Have you tried it? Yeah, I saw some 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 tests and it's amazing. It's like yes. with super super noisy background and it works amazing. Yes. I think the same. Also, um Illustrator has included some AI um tools. Um there are like a lot of um things cool to do in Adobe using Adobe, sorry. Also yesterday, I don't know if you saw it, that DALI got an update on ChatGPT. Whenever you generate an image with DALI 3, you can paint some, some pieces of the image and with a prompt, you can override those pieces. Yes, we can try it if you want. Uh, yeah. I that think that's, um, no, this is, I made some, some tests uh using that tool uh let me show you i asked uh to add a mermaid <laughs> uh i delete this part and write please add a realistic mermaid it doesn't work that that fine i had some this is <laughs> um, it's using dali 2 right uh, yeah i mean yes uh, yes you upload the image and you can edit the image that you upload yeah what you're saying is uh using chat GPT? Exactly. Yeah, it's a new feature. Oh, you can enter to cool. the, the website, maybe we can see it. Um, sure. First, you need to generate an image. Um, generate. What we can also, do. If you see on top of the input uh, text that you have, there are some buttons now. You can choose any of those buttons to select the art style that you want the image okay. to be. Digital art of a company celebration with a lot of people. Super happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And after uh, the image uh, uh, gets generated, you can click on it. And on the window that displays the image, you're going to see that th there is a new button that lets you edit it. It works uh, like similar to Dali 2, but now yes. uh, like included here in ChatGPT. Exactly, cool. yeah. But the, the only downside is that you cannot edit any image that you upload, I guess, because of content uh, restrictions, etc. Okay, so now we want to edit it. That's it, yeah. And here we can include include an octopus. Um, the color is turquoise. Sorry? Turquoise, the color of Lenny, if you want to make him. Can you write it in two? Yes. I think it's like something like turquoise. I'm not sure if Turquoise. it's... Okay. Yeah. 
I try. Yes, it's like that. And you have ah uh, well, maybe uh, sorry when I when I draw it I put a one eyed one eyed ah, uh, okay. one eyed trochoid octopus um yeah with no I don't know how uh, the um, the suck, no, suckers are called the the things that the octopus have on the on the arms are are called suckers. Let's yeah, see what it's, happens. It's actually hard to to draw any with AI. Yes, I saw some uh, proofs that you have done in the chat. They are like weird lines. Yeah. Let's see what happened. Well. Hey, pretty good. <laughs> Amazing. It's like wrap around the arm of the guy. <laughs> well. Uh, you can only do it with things you generated, or you can add any photo that you have in your library and try to add something over it. You can only edit if the images that you generate with Dali. It's because oh, of the if you, yeah. If you are using Dali, this Dali, these are uh, pictures that I took and I upload, and I edit it here, like uh -huh. it exploded things like this. Um, do you have a credit uh, idea so, so you can show how it works? Yes, yes, for sure. Let's try it. Um, just, um, just to give uh, the clarification, I mean, you have to enter here, this labs.openai.com, and then uh, this is only for DALI 2, that is a prior version of the DALI 3 that we have in, in ChatGPT, and this lets you upload an image and edit it. Sorry. No, no, an image of a Huge plan. Maybe oh, you can okay. load the image on the bottom. And ah, the... sorry. Yeah. See, yes, I, I forgot we were doing that. Let's upload this one. Okay. Uh, skip is cropping. Here you can. Sorry, here we can select this part and I can uh, write a uh, include a bird um, inside the house flying and uh, I'm opening a black bird generate the idea here is that the piece that uh, it uh, erased is going to be filled uh, with with some content. Exactly. Sometimes the results are not that good as I show you with a mermaid example, but sometimes works pretty good. Let's see. Well. I think this is the best one. Yeah. Or this one. So Dali yeah. 2 is, is the prior version to the one that is on ChatGPT. And yeah, it works. Uh, sometimes it's what, it works weirdly. But it lets you do in paint and all of these things. So, so it's useful for some things. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if someone else has any other question or something that we can try. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for coming today and uh, listening to uh, this, this talk. Uh, I hope this helps you. Um, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ida. Great talk. Thank you. Uh,